They may not be flashy, colorful, or smell the sweetest, but roots are an essential part of almost every plant. Roots are the plant structures that mostly grow underground. Let's investigate together to observe possible functions of roots. Here are the supplies you will need. Some paper towels, water, tape, scissors, three clear cups. You can fill them with potting soil like I did or small pebbles or rice and food coloring. We're going to tape each one of these three paper towels in a roll. Now we will give our paper towel plants different types of roots. But before we do that, let's explore the different types of root systems. There are two main types of root systems, tap root systems and fibrous root systems. Tap roots are thick primary roots that go deep into the soil like these dandelions. Fibrous roots are many thin roots branching off and replacing the primary root. They are shallow, but they are many, holding the plant securely into the soil. Some trees have buttress roots that spread out partially above ground to give the tree additional support when soil isn't very deep. Other root types are aerial roots, like this banyan tree. Banyan trees send roots down from their branches into the ground and allow them to spread laterally over great distances. Holy mackerel. Holy mackerel, you can walk across a root bridge. Living in one of the wettest regions in the world, the Khasi tribe of Northeast India created a way to travel across flooded rivers by using the aerial roots of the rubber fig tree. They built strong living bridges that could hold up to 50 people at once. This first paper towel will have a tap root. Then this middle paper towel will have fibrous roots. This last paper towel will actually have no roots at all so we can see the difference. We're going to plant our plants. Now we're going to add some food coloring to our water to observe a little easier what our roots are going to do. One, two, three, four, five, six. I always add too much food coloring. Now we water each plant. Let's wait and see what happens. Our roots worked. We had our tap root here that absorbed all of the liquid up into the paper towel stem. You can see the orange here on the bottom. I know you can't probably see this, but at the top it is wet. So that's very interesting. Even though all of the water was orange from the food coloring, the paper towel absorbed the food coloring here and then the water just kept going and kept the food coloring at the bottom. That's very interesting. We see the same thing here with our fibrous roots. It's even more squishy even more wet here at the top, but we see the same thing happening here at the bottom with the orange. And then here, our plant with no roots is just kind of hanging out. We're gonna check back on him in a little bit. The first function of roots is absorption. Let's look closely at the root to see how it's made to absorb water and minerals for the plant. Plant roots are made up of a vascular cylinder surrounded by a spongy layer of ground tissue called the cortex that is then covered by an outer layer called the epidermis. The epidermis protects the root and absorbs water. The vascular cylinder includes special tubes called the xylem and the phloem that are responsible for transporting water and minerals up to the stem and throughout the plant. Plants with roots are known as vascular plants and have special connective tissues. Just like in our experiment, roots absorb water from the soil and draw it up into the stem. Water defies gravity. We see a similar process here in our experiment. The paper towel was dry at the top, unsaturated. As water began to absorb into the paper towel, capillary action started taking place. 
In plants, evapotranspiration occurs when water evaporates from leaves, creating negative pressure, which draws water up to the leaves through those special tissues, the xylem and phloem. The star of absorption is the root hair. Tiny root hairs sprout from just above the growing tip of each root. They grow between soil particles and absorb the water and minerals that the plant needs to grow. Root hairs give the roots tons more surface area for absorption. We see this same design in our own bodies. Our lungs have tons of grape-like tissues called alveoli that absorb oxygen into our blood. And our intestines have finger-shaped structures called villi that absorb nutrients. The more surface area, the more absorption that can occur. Roots grow deep into the soil, are spread out far and wide to help anchor the plant to the ground. Let's take a look at our paper towel stems and give them some wind. Oh, let's kick it up a notch. One more. It's too windy. What happened to our paper towel stem with no roots? It fell over or blew away. You can see here that this tree is still anchored to the soil, even though erosion is slowly wearing it away. Roots grow at the tips, continually pushing themselves through the soil particles deeper and wider into the soil. Roots are also a food storage structure for plants. They are good at storing starches, nutrients, and sugars for later use. In some plants, roots are enlarged to accommodate larger quantities of starches and carbohydrates. We call these root vegetables. Some examples of root vegetables are beets, sweet potatoes, and carrots. Too 